everybody welcome to Northwood Zangling I am Luke Kenches and this ginger cat he introduced himself I don't even need to introduce him so got some update here on this full fishing thing here on the river tonight we are fishing these cut banks as you can see behind me it's glorious in all of its glory and uh, the problem is as you can see the storm um, we just got a severe thunderstorm warning on our phone. I don't know what to do, guys. I'm thinking I mean to maybe go get some cover. This isn't a good spot to be when it's storming, guys. In case you're wondering, cut banks, not ideal to be under while it's storming. I don't see any trees that can fall this way, luckily. But trees do fall. So, guys, we're on the Minnesota River. Who do we got? Andrew Swain, Lee Vang. What's going on, Lee? Uh, we got Jonathan Bevins, Ronald Dawson. We got 44 people in the house, guys. What's going on? So, I messaged Ginger Cat. Jacob is actually in Florida right now. Uh, he was fishing for big fish today, guys. Um, he potentially, he potentially caught the biggest fish Northwoods Angling has ever caught today I got to see it me too really big real big this wind this storm's coming in guys I don't know what to do with myself so we're fishing cut banks on the Minnesota River guys um, the water was really high it's still kind of high right now um, as you can see the banks are let's see the banks are getting down there but this will go down like another six to eight feet or even more and um, so we're fishing these cut banks. There's this, this tree, this root ball right here. There's a root ball that's going in the water right there. And I did mark a couple really big fish by it. Ray's got his bait out here on the edge. It drops to about 20 feet. I'm at about six feet. So there's actually a really big ledge here. And the creeks are finally starting to flow out. I feel like my... Let me clean my lens off here real quick, guys. Maybe it's just so soft. Maybe I just have soft skin. Who knows? Who do we got in here? We got beers, brats, corn on the cob, and Northwoods Live. Guess I'm glad I didn't come out if you're going to get dumped on. Peter, Pete, we're going to get rained on, and I'm going to stay live through the storm. It's called hardcore. Probably stupid, but hardcore. Nick Welch, D Dayton Airport here. What's going on? Dayton Airport. Michael Hogan, what's going on? We got Sean Rabby in the stream. We're gonna catch some big flats. I told Jay, I told Ray, we're gonna catch some big flatheads tonight. Um, he's got three days left of high school, guys. This is my neighbor, Ray, Ginger Cat. Oh. Is that thunder or is that a barge? I, I think that was a barge. I hope that was a I hope <laughs> that was a barge. So three days left of high school, then he's going to college. He's gonna go to college for welding. Smart kid. Skipping the four-year stuff, going right to a special specialty school. He's gonna be a welder. He's gonna be a welder this summer. He's gonna learn what it's like to be an adult here pretty quick. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Are you? Nothing better. Nothing better than being an adult. He'll learn that's not the case. <laughs> Ryan McFarlane, what's going on? Catfish Weekly's in the house. Lyle Stokes, father, welcome to the stream. Here it comes. She's and starting to rain. Raining. We might need to pull anchor and go somewhere safer. This isn't a safe spot. Uh, banks corrode when it rains. Oh, oh gosh. Well, guys, <laughs> welcome to the stream. We're gonna get dumped on. This isn't gonna be good. Mike Posio, Tom Frederick, Carter Peterson. How big? It's big, guys. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, bro, this is cold. Ooh. Hold Ooh. on. Oh. We're hardcore out here, guys. I got my guide wear jacket on. I put my, my other camera stuff underneath. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Welcome, welcome to Northwoods Angling. Where the rain comes. 
I gotta watch the bank because the bank can fall into the boat, which does happen. I'm just gonna keep going. We're going at it, guys. Let me turn this around. Let me get this up. Oh, there we go. Oh! What down my butt? Oh. Oh, I love this, guys. I love this. Let's do this all day. Let's just hang out in the rain. Woo! I don't see a problem. My phone doesn't mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Oh no. Looks nice out. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Whisker Sticks is in the house. We're fishing for flatheads. No blues here, Malcolm. No blues in Minnesota. We are fishing for flatheads. And uh, we got live bullheads on. This is awesome. What am I doing? Welcome to YouTube. We got a donation in the house. Let me get to it real quick. Someone donated. Oh my gosh, I can't even scroll. My phone's so wet. Michael Hogan. Add to camera fund. Mr. Michael Hogan, thank you for the donation. Oh my gosh. Thank you for that donation. Thanks from Northwoods Angling for that. $25. That's a lot of money, so I appreciate that very much. All right, I think it stopped. I think it stopped. We're oh. good. No? No. I don't think it stopped either. All right, where are we at? Let me get to some comments. We're gonna catch a flat in this storm, guys. And it's gonna be epic. So stick with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing, guys. So earlier today, Ray messaged me and says, Bring the bimini. Bring your bimini. Because I usually have a top. Well, bimini wouldn't really do anything for this rain because it's coming straight at us. Help. But he said, bring your bimini. I said, we don't need it. I sent him a picture of the radar. It looked good. It looked good when I when I sent it. I didn't put the bimini on, as you can tell. So here we are. This is so weird. Wait, who was right? Say it. Ginger Cat was right. Oh, man. Tom Frederick, Kansas City, Missouri in the house. Mike Persinger. Hooser, Catman, what's Luke? What's going on, Luke? Hooser, not much. Roderick, we got the pitmaster in the house. Rick Perry, what's up, Northwoods? What's going on, everybody? We got another donation. Maurice Case and what y'all fishing for? How big? I can't say how big the fish was, but the fish he caught. Oh, so Jacob's out in Florida right now, guys. He was shark fishing today uh, down by Fort Myer. And um, the fish took over an hour to fight i'll tell you that right now and it was really really big um it's gonna probably be the biggest fish northwoods has ever caught and um it's an impressive species it's an impressive specimen of a fish <gasps> you guys need to wait and see it he sent me a message about an hour into the fight today and he says i don't know how big this fish is i was guessing it was a sawfish um maybe thought it was a uh, a whale <laughs> no i thought i thought it was maybe a sawfish but oh it's a nice nice day guys welcome to minnesota welcome to the northwoods rain jacket's working so far all right who do we got anybody need any spot tail shiners this weekend in northern minnesota i don't need any spot tails do you have a set leader length according to bottom features patrick brian wants to know patrick i do according to the bottom if I'm fishing really, really heavy structure, either that's wood or man-made structure, something that I want to give my bullhead the small, the shortest leash possible. So if I'm fishing a lot of wood, I'm going to run sometimes a four to five inch leader. Not very long. The less I can let that fish swim around and get caught and stuff, the better. I think the rain's done. I, I yeah, wish that was, that I wish that was the truth. I think it's coming this way, so I think we're all right big rain big bite big fish big boys too in the boat Ray's taller than me he's just a little kid just a little man he makes Jacob and Peter look really small <laughs> 51 watching only nine likes what's up we got 32 thumbs up 115 people in the house the rain has stopped 
I'm soaked. I mean, not literally, but my jacket is soaked. I hit all my like li camera lights. Oh, I did not hide. Grab my front camera light that's sitting on the front of the floor. Oh gosh, you get and my GoPro. Uh, yeah. It's soaked. So my filming light was definitely not underneath my, my deck. Oh, that's good. Is it good? You want to stick it underneath Let's there? Let's see if it turns on. No, there's no batteries oh, in it. Oh, that's a problem. So I got the filming lights out. We're going to do a night stream, guys. We're going to change up our location. Right now we're fishing these cut banks. We're probably going to make a move here pretty quick. Uh, we haven't had a fish yet. We've been fishing about 15 minutes. We haven't had a fish yet. But we're going to move to something a little different, a little towards dark here. We're going to probably go fish some creeks. Because the creeks are starting to flow out, guys. And when the creeks start to flow out after high water, you got to fish them for flatheads. You got to fish them for walleye. Anytime that water's flowing out, that means there's bait fish. There's smaller fish that those big fish are eating. So tonight, we're creek fishing tonight. But right now, our main focus is these cut banks. Mm -hmm. um, some of the cut... Severe thunderstorm expires in 47 minutes. I just Ooh. got another warning on my Perfect. phone. So when you're fishing, it's spring bite right now, pre-spawn. Um, when the water goes high, fish the right on those cut banks, right on those really tight seams on the bank. And when those creek, when the water starts to drop, those creeks are gonna start flowing out. And you're gonna wanna fish those creeks. That's where those big fish are gonna be coming up to feed at night, guys. And I think, I think it's about that time. Water went down about six feet here in the last week, so she's looking good. We got another donation. Who do we got? um another donation whisker sticks fishing when no other man dares to fish the storm nwa is making it happen couple peer leaf back in your wallet mr tim whisker sticks fishing if you guys don't know tim he has a uh company whisker sticks and the, he makes led led lights for rods for night fishing i specifically use them well, I'm bobber fishing for flatheads. And I did bring an extra rod tonight specifically to catch flatheads on for bobber. So I probably will, I probably will be putting a bobber on tonight when I'm creek fishing guys. And I'll have a whisker sticks in my, right on my uh, bobber. It's exciting when, a, when the bobber gets whacked. So thank you for the donation, Tim. All right, pouring at my farm coming your way. I'm so excited, Nick. Kentucky Catman, hey guys. We have our new website out and running today. Check it out at whiskerstixfishing.com. What's up from Las Vegas? It isn't good, head for cover. Looks Are you checking the me. radar? Let's get to pull the radar up. Why? Because I just asked you if you could pull the radar up. Well, Kids, millennials, you guys? Luke. He's gotta always ask why. Yeah, why? Sometimes you just do it, right? I'm an adult. I'm You're a child. He's a child. Okay, what am I looking? It's called a radar. It shows clouds and rain. I have the Weather Channel app right here, guys. All right, well, you haven't clicked on it yet. And I so. just clicked on it. You, he's confused. You're confused. 56 thumbs up. Thank you guys so much. Chuck Hayes, what's going on, Chuck? Uh -huh. Josh Wenmiller, good luck. Super Tramp, Edmonton, Alberta. What's going on in Edmonton? I like, I've never been to Edmonton. I got friends in Edmonton. Welcome to the stream. Zach Loomis, welcome to the stream. What y'all at, watch y'all all the time. Roger Graff. Oh gosh, here, this is the future. We actually might be all right. Should we show people what it looks like here? Oh, let's go back. Zoom out. I'll show you guys kind of what we're dealing with here. He's, you're so confused. Oh, you're confusing. Where the blue dot, right about, yay there. So how are we looking for future? Future. We might be okay. We might be all right. You guys, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna be okay. I'll be honest with you, I think we're all right. We're okay. I think the rain's done. What's up from Georgia? Big rain bite. Do you have, a, oh, I already did all those. Hey guys, Kentucky Catman, Michael Hogan. What up, you'll like ducks? You'll like ducks. Alan Herman, you'll like ducks. I don't get it. What's up, Luke? Me and my nephew Dalton are watching while catching big blues. What's going on, Dalton? I heard you're a fan. 
was talking to Mr. Chuck here recently. He said you're a big fan. Thank you for supporting our show. So big shout out to Dalton. Hopefully you guys catch some fish. I can't wait to see them. Send me pictures if you get them. 123 people in chat. We got 71 thumbs up. Now we just need to catch a fish, guys. The rain stopped. Uh, now I would say it's party time. Give or take a couple minutes. Get it. How long is this supposed to last? I don't even know. It looks like it might be done. Fish come alive after the storm. You're going to need to start getting animals two by two. It's <laughs> about right. Love fishing in the rain. It's called dedicated fishing. It's, it's more, yeah, you could call it dedicated fishing. I don't know if I would call it that right now. Where's the sun? There is no sun. There really isn't right the here. sun. Right here. Right here. 93 in Des Moines, no rain. It was 92 degrees when we came out fishing. This rain actually cooled it down quite a bit. Yeah, which it's is at 89. Which is satisfactory. 89 degrees. I like that. All right, who do we got? Hot and sunny here in Quincy, Illinois. Racer Tracer 12. Well, I will be in Quincy, Illinois next Thursday. I will be in Quincy, Illinois next Thursday for the Fishing for Freedom event. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people involved, lots of veterans. Um, I'm taking my boat down to Quincy. And um, I'll be taking a veteran out in the boat, and we're going to go fish a tournament. I'm excited to do it. It's going to be a little bit of a drive. I think it's almost seven hours from my house. So it's a little bit of a haul. I'll be pre-fishing a little bit Thursday with my friend. And uh, Friday there's an event going on, and Saturday. The tournament, I think, is Sunday. NK Ciudad S. I need refreshment on my Spanish. What's up, boys? Good luck. Backwoods catfishing. Thank you for coming in here. Welcome to the stream. Terry, Mr. Terry Atkins, Catbusters. Welcome to the stream, Terry. We're going to get on a big fish. So the first spot we were going to fish, so we're fishing this cup bank right now. The first spot we were going to fish looked too fast. So it kind of bummed me out a little bit, but... There's some good stuff around here. This next corner might actually go try fishing that here in a second. Because there's a creek that runs into there. And uh, I'm waiting for one of these to get thumped, guys. We're going to catch a big flathead tonight. I'm excited. Hot and 80 in Cincinnati. Extreme. That's right, Pete. Welding is a great program. I'm from Woodroof, and I weld through R.D. Anderson. And they got a great job welding mufflers for BMW. Nice. What's up, guys? So Ray's going to be doing structural welding this summer. And then he's going to go to school. And what are you going to specialize in? What kind of welding? I want to do underwater. He wants to do underwater welding. Oh, here comes the rain again. Should we move? I don't care. I don't see First, why I'm you got to get to my comment. You, you, you can't be commenting comment, on my video. All right, I'm live. Luke, Sunday evening, I might be in your exact situation, except I'll be on the bank. Bank fishing's fun. I miss actually miss bank fishing, but I do like boat fishing because you can be active, you can be mobile, you can get around a little bit. Get slimed cat fishing. Logan Niederrecker, welcome to the stream, Logan. He was not with Black Tip H, Logan. He uh. He was with his mom, his aunt, um, and his uh, his old lady, and they were, I think his kid might have been in the boat. Pretty much Jacob looked on Navionics. He found a spot in the ocean, miles offshore. He went and fished it, and he caught a huge fish. Last time he did the exact same thing. He got that seven or eight foot tiger shark. So he's just doing it. Jacob just loves that salt water. I've never caught a shark, so. Well, it's starting to rain again. Let me bundle up. Let me bundle up. We got 141 people. What have I missed? You missed this. Rain. Is that stuff underneath there? Yeah. How about the GoPro? Yeah. Is it in that case? It's the in black, that case? black case? Yeah. Well, welcome to the stream, guys. Luckily, my phone's waterproof. Oh, my gosh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dentro, né? Stick with me, guys. This isn't what I was anticipating. Someone just donated a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Well, here we are, guys. Sorry about this. <laughs> Let me get to the donation. What's the air temp there? It was 90 degrees when we came out. You wanna fold that up and tip that chair? They're both full of water. <laughs> Looking good, brother. Jacob, there's Jacob right there. This looks great, this is great. This is what fishing's all about, guys. Right here. This is what it's all about. Not getting, oh my gosh. Not getting struck by lightning. It's also a, a factor. <laughs> this is horrible. I'm just throwing that out there. Someone donated some money. Let me get to it. <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> what are we doing? Get slimed catfishing. Here's a Peter Leaf donation for your seven hour drive next week. Get slime Logan. Thank you so much for the for the five dollars. We got Walleye Thomas donating a hundred dollars. Mr. Walleye Thomas never leaves a message. But he's always donating the big bucks. Walleye Thomas, thank you so much for the donation. It means a lot to us. We're getting close to that camera, guys. I don't know how close we are. Maybe Jacob knows. We're going to get that new camera. Hopefully this year. It's a spendy one, though. It's still raining. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> Let me get to some more comments. I think we need to move. You want to reel up the rods? Hey, sure. Thank you. We're going to go move to a creek, guys, under some cover. I'm not really digging this right now. The bank, the birds are in that in those holes right there. The birds live in those holes. That's a quick fact for the day. Walleye Thomas, thank you again for the $100. We appreciate that. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm just hanging out here in the rain. The graft's on. Ginger Cat's reeling up the bullheads. I'll show you guys kind of what we're running here. There's a bullhead. I don't know what he's doing. I'm just chilling. I guess he can put one back in the... He's, that, one's, that one's snagged up. Give her the juice. I think she's snagged. Yep. Alright. Want to back over it? No, just reel down, wrap it around the reel. Here's the trick, guys, right here. I have a peg I use usually, but this works too. Wrap it around the reels and you don't cinch your line. My law. Maybe we'll go over it. Yeah, she's stuck. Sounds a little easier. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we'll go over it. Alright, welcome back, guys. It's sprinkling now. Why is it going? I don't want that. Stuff's popping up now. Because people are sending me messages. The legend Steve Douglas is in the house. The cat man himself, Steve Douglas? The catfishing dude himself? Steve, welcome to the stream. I don't know if you guys know Steve. I'm sure y'all do. Shake Monst your phone. Monster rod holders. Why shake it? Audio went bad. Is that better? Is that better? Give some thumbs up if you can hear us. Give me a thumbs up if, if you can hear the audio now. I think we're good. I think we're good on audio. But my phone isn't charging. Oh, moisture detected in port. That's not good, guys. So that means I can't charge my phone. Which means I have 36% battery left, guys. We're Just got home from back. a 15-hour workday, Northwoods live streaming. 
Hold on, guys. I gotta clean my port off here. It's working. It's working. Underwater basket weaver, they said. Are we up on anchor there? Except for the front. Well, we probably need the front. Let me uh, set up my tripod here. Port is wet. Guess I can't charge my phone. So it might. Hold on one second. Starting the boat up. Yep. Alright guys, so Ginger Cat's untying the boat. Tied up on the cut bank. I'm gonna move to a better spot here with, First gotta get the with some more cover. Let it up. I'll undo the undo the bail. Alright. One second, guys. What's this tree? <laughs> Hold on, guys. All right. Oh, geez, you're coming along. No, you're good. For real. I quit the motor. This is kind of a disaster, guys. Get it, break. Just get it out. Don't use the rod bend. Just break it. Get it? Alright. We're moving. I think we're going down to this corner. We're going to go check this corner out. Maybe get some more cover. I got to get my uh, charger to work, otherwise we are in trouble. I'll get to questions here in a second. Give me one second, guys. We got cover now, guys. We're back at her. I do see some clear sky coming. But we are under a tree now. And we are at a creek. Right here. It's not flowing very much, but I don't even care at this point. I'm going to be honest with you guys. All right. KMB goes, Danny Cal, good luck, guys. Danny Cal, thank you for coming in here. Lena Hardwick, welcome to the stream. Do the veterans deer hunt down here? Do the veterans deer hunt down here? Great time and great people. I can't wait to do it. Steve, we're working on getting some fish. We just got out of the rain. I think this is a little better spot to be, wouldn't you say, Ray? Yeah, kind of. And he said kind of, but he means yes. This is much better than where we were. Yeah. No trees to fall on us here, which is good. So, Ray, are we tight on that? Heck yeah, we are. Are we? I don't know, we came down a little bit, which is fine. I'm not too concerned. I'm all just using Hey everyone, out. the legend Steve Douglas. Hey Jim, did you catch anything earlier? You can use that one, yeah. Okay. You can grab a weight out of my blue bag. I have a weight in my pocket. Yeah, he's good, guys. So I'll show you guys kind of what we're running here. We're running bullheads. Let me, uh, let me get this here. You want to do it? No, I'm going to cast yours out. Oh. That's blurry. <laughs> Just 
still a little blurry, but we're all right. So we're gonna, I'll show you guys kind of what we're running here. Oh, wow, you really feather so there. No, it can stuck in its teeth. Here's what we're running, guys. Big live bullheads. I'm actually going yeah, to rehook this one for ginger cat. I'm going to go a little further back. It's actually a really, really small hook for a big bullhead. I don't know why he's you using... I don't know why he's using such Here. a small one, but... No, we're good. I'm going to throw this out towards the break, guys. Um, he's going to throw mine. There's a lot of current here. Once we get it in on that screen, we should be alright. How about that one? Gapper? What do you want to do? Throw it right there. Right there? Yep. All right, back at it, guys. Like a little like this. You can do whatever. No. 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 Just get, just fling it up to the to the edge of that corner. What corner? The corner where the creek is. You see that? Yeah. Where that tree is? How Start far out? Even with that, straight there, about eight feet offshore. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? That's fine. That's fine. That was about eight. It moved. You're good. I'll give you that one. Oh my gosh. The rain might be done, guys. We're definitely swinging, which I don't like. Did I get your clicker on? Oh yeah, clicker's on. So we're on the Minnesota River, guys, near Minneapolis. Kind of lost. Put the back on. Yeah. No, we just got to get up the front, and that makes sure it's tight. I'm going to run us up a little higher. I'm going to run the boat up a little more. That means hang on. Actually, no. We're good. We're good. So I see some... There's some fish moving through... Through the edge out here. There's some fish swimming. It's shallow where we're sitting, but... I can assure you guys, it's much deeper when... When you get that line out there. You want to throw reel yours in and throw yours right out here? Sure. I think we should have one out there. Mine's kind of in the... So last time we, we did a Facebook live stream here last year with bullheads and we got a 30 inch walleye on live stream. Am I putting that? About 10 feet out right there in that slower water. Right there. That reel sounds good. All you need is tighten your side spool. It's way too loose, that's why. You know how to do that? This one? Yeah. Is it tight? How does it go? Oh, your reel's broke. Your ah. reel's broke. I can hear it jingling around in there. The sun's coming out, guys. Which means, storm's over. Time to catch fish. Throw that rear out, please. We're swinging all the way around. Where do you want it? Straight down? Over, no. Throw it out there. Okay. Right to that point. He's going to swing out the anchor. In the water or in the point? Up on the, the point there. <laughs> you said on the point. Tie it up. Pull us in. He's learning, guys. He's new. He just started fishing here this last week. Sometimes I think that. You, you sat on That's the That's good. Alright. Comments. Here we go. I'm sorry, guys. I lost my train of thought. Just got home from a 15-hour underwater basket weaver in Quincy. Steve Douglas rocks. Great job to have. Mr. Douglas. Steve Douglas, how you doing? Hot bite. Can't be English. Hey, Luke. What's up from Nebraska? How are you anchored? I'm anchored on the bank right now, guys. Waiting for the big flathead to come by. Give me a little, uh, give me a little shout out. So once we leave this spot, I know right where I'm going. I found a creek with a huge clear water, uh, um, transition line. With that said, 
it's going to get real. I think we're going to... I, I haven't fished this area since the water's been down. So I kind of marked some spots coming out here tonight. Which is what you want to do. If you know you're going to be fishing into the night and you're going to be coming back down towards the ramp, mark your spots in the daytime. Because they look different at night. And you can see a lot better in the day. So that's what we're doing. Alright. Watch you guys playing UFC 3 on... Watch you guys and playing P UFC 3 on PS4 at the same time. That's a good skill. Walleye Tom in the house. What? Walleye Thomas. Walleye Thomas just hooks it up all the time. Sent a couple pics from the last two days. I saw that pop up. I almost lost my stream because of it, actually. Panzer Medical. Hey, guys. Luke, are you going to do another combo with another fishing show this year? Those dudes are rad. I'm sure we will be doing some shows with another fishing show. Um, I plan on flying to New Mexico to fish with Chris here this summer. That's on the, that's on the agenda. I want to go visit Chat Cats in uh, Chattanooga. That's on the agenda. Um, Texas for Alligator Gar. We'll be doing that. Um, probably going up to Canada to fish for Channel Cats again. That's on the agenda. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, guys. I don't even know. I have 26% battery. Um, made me look cheap there. Do the rain dance. It's about right. Y'all keep the rain up there. <laughs> Might get wet. No mic. I just got the phone. Um, is it just me or did the audio change? Virginia, where are you located? Ontario, hashish. We're in central Minnesota, right around Minneapolis. So right in the heart of right in the heart of Minnesota, uh, east central. Maybe I'll start raining big fish now. I hope so. Um, shake your phone. I think that was from before. That was earlier. Wet net, are you all catching film? Are you going to film here in Quincy, Illinois, Racer Tracer? I don't know if I'm going to be filming or not. Um, I'll probably do a little something for the um, Fishing for Freedom, but I'm not going to do like a full filming thing. Um, it's going to be just me, so I won't be bringing any of the big gear with. I'll have my GoPro, I'll have my phone, and my um, filming stuff, but I don't think we'll be doing a full show out of Quincy. Got to head out, love the videos, hope you hook up to a nice fish. Brendan Ferland, thank you for coming in. Moon Sooning Sun, you you should have brought your top. Lyle? Dad? I said that. He's always giving me, you're always giving me good advice. I appreciate that. Badger Farm Girl, what's going on? Riley Johnson, hello, hello, both of you. Not raining in Rosemount yet, though it's gonna. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain in Rosemount, maybe. Virginia Fisherman, not really. Hey, Luke, Nathan Beasley, welcome to the stream, guys. We just need to catch a flathead now. If I don't get one on this YouTube, which I'm going to... I don't know if I can charge my phone yet. If I can charge my phone, I'll stay, I'll stay live on YouTube. No. I got to hit my button on my... So I have a charge pack, guys. That's what I use to keep my phone charged while I'm streaming. It's just a little... It's just a little one right here. It's made by Anchor. You can hold my phone charged for like six hours uh, streaming. Or I can run my GoPro all day long. So when I'm, um, uh, when I'm doing the GoPro, nope, I can't charge my phone, guys. This is not good. Not good. I got to watch my battery. I'm at 27%. Let me try blowing at it again. Don't mind me, guys. Were you dabbing yeah, while you sneezed? A little bit. I like that. Steve Dingman, Johnny Slabs, not better, but okay. Still hear you find just sounds muffled. Can hear just muffled, not much better. Might have to deal with it. Audio muffled, muffled, muffled. Hey, Mr. Douglas, hopefully the audio is fixed. Let me get to where that is. Hey, Steve. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? Steve North is a couple of my YouTube heroes. Michael Lamp. Thank you for coming in, brother. I appreciate it very much. What's up, Dirty Ore? It's Ginger Cat, Dirty Ore said. There he is. He's growing and gotten more of a smart, smart Alec. That's the only thing that's changed between Ginger Cat from before. We're going to get a big walleye, guys. It's going to just be a big surprise. All right, where did you get your rods from? I like them. You like them? Well, right here, I got one right here. 
This is a Tomcat Custom uh, hooked up with a Elthamar, Abu Garcia. TomcatCustomRods.com. That's where those rods are from. I don't mind fishing in the rain. Sound muffled. This cop is killing me. Riley, that they Tomcat Rods from TomcatRods.com. Thanks. I'm going to check them out. Hands on shoulders. So graceful. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. I'll try not to fall. He's trying not to fall. That's his excuse. Fair enough. I don't mind. Hold on here, guys. Um, well, all right, there we go. Hit the thumbs up. We got 109 thumbs up. We got 130 people in stream. Clear skies are coming, guys. And once it gets real nice, I can show you how fast this boat goes. She's real quick. As I said, it's stopping. But there is clear skies coming, I think. All right, did it work? Is my mic working? Phone doesn't want to charge, I guess. Just whiffed a nice one. Chuck, don't whiff on them. That's a spot in Savage, right? Nope. No, no, we're not by Savage. We don't fish the Minnesota River down there. There's no fish in that area. Fatty bullet, I have a feeling a hog is going to hit. Hey, Mr. Douglas, audio, audio is still junky. How's audio now? Jeez, check port. I get it. Are there gnats bad up there? They're horrible here in Iowa. They have been really, really bad. The gnats have been horrible towards dark, and there's nothing you can do about it. What's Ginger Cat's PB? Uh, what was it, 45? It was with you. Yeah. It's on a video on Northwoods Angle. It's close to 50 pounds. He caught it in, the, he caught it in this boat about two miles downriver. That spot's actually probably really good right now. But I don't want to drive that far. Something's gonna happen to that bullhead. I know. That bullhead's going nuts, guys. It's gonna get eaten. So are you gonna get the fish or am I? I am. You're gonna record me. He asked who's gonna get the fish. Silly question. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, is the audio fixed? I need to find out if audio oh my gosh, I'm so far back in comments, you guys. Loud, good. Mike's working now. That's what I like to hear. Audio's back to normal. Let me go up a few comments. I don't want to go all the way back. I just realized I was like 30 minutes behind. Um, you fixed your audio. DJ, you're close to me if you fish Mayville. It's raining in Australia. Mike Mitchell Hobbs, you're in Australia? Mate. I want to come there and fish for sharks and whatever else you have in Australia. Kangaroos. Wombats. Wombats. <laughs> Whatever else you got there in good old Australia land. I love it's so cool. Such a cool place. Rain just rolled through Chaska with some wind and lightning. Stay safe. Good luck out in Chaska. We almost launched Chaska tonight. We ended up coming to Lindale. I thought my cut bank spots were gonna be really good. And when I went by them today, they looked uh it was actually too low. So I must have fished them. I had really good luck there a couple years ago with my cousin. I think we fished them when it was a little higher than this, actually. Which kind of bums me out. But I can tell you what, guys. If we stick this out till dark and we start fishing these creeks, we're going to either pull up a flathead or we're going to pull up a really big walleye. Because walleyes like bullheads. Let me tell you guys. If you're walleye fishermen and you fish the river, bullheads. I've seen so many 30 plus inch walleye caught on bullheads, it's not even funny. In this spot, I've seen one too. Yakking with Sarah. Welcome to the stream, Sarah. It's great to have you in here. Um, if I miss any questions, please feel free to ask again. I didn't do it on purpose. I just got sidetracked with the um, downpour on my face and my filming light being in the rain and not realizing it. And Ginger Cat, he just he gets to you, you know. Great audio fix, fix. I live in Flemingsburg. Do you hook in monster cats? Um, been watching y'all for a while now, but this is the first time I've been able to watch a stream. Michael Gleason, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. This is it. Like, this is, uh, weather's cooperating here. I think we're going to be doing some more running and gunning. Hopefully, by the time my phone, I got a little battery left, guys. 
we're gonna hopefully get a fish here before before the uh, phone dies because I can't charge my phone right now unfortunately something there that was weird skeeters are coming out all right oh yeah my pee pee while I was on a bullhead dang right kilcher kilcher well, didn't I just talk to you on Facebook? There's something around here. Yeah? Something's gonna eat, guys. I have a feeling it's gonna be a walleye. I just have that feeling. It'd be a good guess. I'm just telling you that right now. There's quite a few creeks in this area. So, let me turn on my charger again and see if I can get it to charge. Well, I'm back to the stream, guys. Welcome. We got 23 people in the house. <laughs> Everyone left. I don't blame you. My phone shut off. My phone shut off. I don't know what just happened. That was horrible. I'm trying to charge my phone. I need an upgrade. I was hoping my phone would start charging. It just shut off. Mm -hmm. Phone just shut off. I don't know what to tell you guys. That's imbe that stinks. I'm trying to find my charge button on my thing in my pocket here. It's gonna shut it off. Though. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. There it is. I'm back. I'm back. All right. Is it charging? That's the question. Back. I'm back again. I'm going to end this stream, guys. I have 7% on my battery. My phone keeps dying when I plug it in. I think it's because it's wet. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to end the stream. Something just exciting happened here. I don't have any batteries, so. And when I plug my phone in, when I plug my phone in, it, it turns off. I think it's too wet. The phone's waterproof, but the charge port gets wet. Is there a fish down there or not? I think it's just your bullhead. So I just want to thank all of you guys for coming in. Uh, next weekend, I might be live tonight on... Jeez, lightning? I might be live tonight on Facebook, guys. If I can get my phone charged. <laughs> I'm going to put my phone away. I'm going to leave. Uh, my phone's about to die. I can't charge it. So I just want to thank everyone that came in here and gave some support. We got 124 thumbs up. And I'm sorry. We got to cut it short. I apologize. Nothing I can do. I have 5%. My phone's going to die. We'll talk to you all later. Next Thursday, our new episode will be out um, from our night fishing channel cats, guys. Uh, to, to finish our Wisconsin trip. It's going to be a crazy, crazy show with some more huge channel cats, night fishing in shallow water. Um, Northwoodsangling.com if you want any apparel. Um, our rod giveaway ends here in a few days, so if you haven't signed up for the Tomcat rod, uh, check our community post on YouTube, or go over to our Facebook page and click on the link for the 10K Tomcat rod giveaway. So if you want to win the Tomcat rod, I think it's done on the 26th. So thank you guys for coming in. It's been a great stream, kind of. I apologize for all the issues we've been having. Um, I'm going to try to get my phone charged and get on Facebook, Facebook Live. So we'll talk to you all later. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a fun night. We'll see you all later. Take care.